Off we go. Here we go. Nice in. Go, go, go. You can hear the oohs and ahs here in the crowd. There's that reverse spin there again. Nice interest. Look at those weave pulls. Kick her out, kick her out. Good. She's falling. Oh, a little wide, a little wide. Going to cost some time, but I don't think it's going to matter right I now. I don't think so either. Not the way this dog's going. That was super nice. Famous. Looking to become there it is. famous. Oh, wow. Nothing but speed on that one. Nothing what a speed. run. She releases him and he goes, let's go, let's play, look at that. He was ready to go another 10 more feet in that tunnel there. Here, she was supposed to send him to the back. He went through her legs and over the, over the jump in the wrong direction. But she got him back. It was just five faults and bully weaves here. I love that. Bully weaves, what do you think? I think he's like, this is not my repertoire. <laughs> The pug almost certainly originated in China, next appearing in Japan and then Europe in the 16th century. He quickly became the darling of European nobility. Pugs combine cocky confidence with a friendly, sensitive, and sincere nature. They are especially good with children. This is pug number 15. Yeah, this is a heartfelt moment when you see Biggie coming out onto the floor, knowing that his father was going to be here and Biggie had to come in and replace him. But it's good because the, the father produced this dog. So that's, that's what this sport is about. So you produce a progeny that can go on and maybe even is better than the sire. So that, that's the important thing about this. Esteban Farias is showing Biggie tonight. Of course, okay, starting there. champion Pretty Hill Country's putting on the Ritz, and Hill Country's had several uh, top-winning pugs. Pugs are a, a very ancient breed, but again, they are a family favorite. 2018 Toy Group winner is the Pug. Second, third, and fourth. Biggie has won the Toy Group. Floyd's Nobs, Indiana. 
Harley is a phenomenal story. A cancer survivor had multiple surgeries to remove cancerous masses on her legs in 2017. And here she is now in 2019 competing. And I know, Terry, you do a lot of work with cancer research for dogs. To see this, it's amazing. I mean, cancer is not a death sentence. Let the dogs be who they are. I mean, it is amazing, the resilience of dogs when they fight cancer. It's absolutely amazing. It's hard not to root right now for Harley, who's 10 years old. You know, and if you think about it, Nice turn, get in there, get in that tunnel. If you think about it, Justin, it's also like therapy. Mm -hmm. You know, the dogs are out having fun. My it's almost, it's almost for, for people battling cancer, this could be motivation. Yeah, my border collie, Reveille, for the, the entire year she was undergoing chemo, had the greatest agility year of her career. So it's not a death sentence. These dogs want to keep competing. It is amazing, and just, and just look at Harley go. Through the weave poles. And Harley will move into the lead, a cancer survivor. Awesome to see what Harley just did, the All-American dog. You know, here we go off that turn on jump number three, tunnel with those two offset jumps, slightly turned in and back into that tunnel. Correct in, correct out.